Free stand for completion and perfection. So what Jesus is really trying to say here is that I'm going to take care of my children. I'm going to, I'm going to do it right and I'm going to uh, come to their rescue. Because when it comes to my kids, I don't play. But within all of that imagery of a mother's protection and care, we also see grief in the heart of his parents. Because the children who are in need of the care, listen to me very closely, the children who are in need of the care will not receive the care. Jesus said, I, I would gather you just like a hen gathers her children, but you will not because the children that need the care won't receive the care. What they keep doing is they keep running out from the street and getting hit by the trucks and the cars. They keep running out into the throes of life and participating in destructive behavior. Behavior that hurts and maims and destroys. And the mother hen is saying today, my brothers and my sisters, I want to gather you up. Like my own, I want you to come under the safety of my wings. I don't want you to keep running away from me. I don't want you to keep moving out in the fringes. I don't want you to be afraid of me anymore. I want you to come close to me. God wants us to come close and draw near because when we draw near to God, guess what? God will draw near to us. But as long as we stay on the fringes, we cannot come under the ark of safety. All right. We can't come under the wings of the one who is trying to secure us. We don't believe that we are worthy to sit at the table and eat the food and feel at home. As I was writing this, God reminded me that some of us refuse to see God as mother, as nurturer, as protector. We keep fighting about what to call God. We keep fighting about which organization and which group has the right to God. Which one has the knowing of God. When God wants us to know that we all have the right to God. That's right. We all have the right to the all-knowing God. You see, if you need a father, God is father. If you need a brother, God is brother. If you need a lover, God can be lover. And when you need a mama, God is mother. Someone who wants to take you under her wings and, and comfort you and protect you and nourish you back to health and back to wellness. You see, the reality is that God is none of these things, while at the same time, God is all of these things. If we remember what Moses said about God when Moses asked the question, who should I tell the people you are? Who should I say your name is? What God said is just say simply that I am. This idea means that God is whoever and whatever God wants to be. But most importantly, God is whatever he needs. God has reminded me to remind us today to stop about everyone and anyone to define for you who God is. Put yourself in a quiet place. Lock yourself up somewhere and listen to the contents of your heart and ask God to come nearer to you. Meditate on the God that you know that's inside of you and let God define God's self to you. And when you come out of that position, don't let anybody take away from you what God has shown you who God is in your life. God is near to you. Stop standing back on the fringes. Whatever you have to do to get back underneath the wings of God, if you have to lay prostrate on the ground, if you have to fall on the floor, if you have to go in the corner, if you have to go all by yourself, whatever it takes for you to get back 
under the wings of God. That's what we need to be doing. Don't be afraid of a faith that shapes you. It's time for us to reshape that faith with a new image of God. I'm going to leave you with this quote by one of my favorite authors. His name is A.W. Tozer. And he says this, The history of mankind will probably show that no people has ever risen above its religion. And man's spiritual history will positively demonstrate that no religion has ever been greater than its idea of God. So is God my mother? My answer to that question is yes, definitely God is. God bless you.